Hello, this video is to demonstrate a highly successful venous puncture technique utilized in the newborn. The technique involves the insertion of a 24 gauge angiocatheter. Once the vessel is cannulated, the blood will gently be aspirated for collection. This technique can be utilized to collect large volumes of free flowing blood. There are several important reminders regarding venous site selection. The first one is to avoid veins that could potentially be candidates for central line placement, i.e. the median cubital basilic vein, the median cubital cephalic vein, axillary veins, superficial temporal veins, and posterior auricular veins. These sites should be reserved for central line placement. Focus on the dorsal plexus veins of the hands and the feet, as well as veins of the wrist, and the superficial scalp veins. Torturous veins that are not suitable for PIV insertion are generally helpful as well. There is an additional bonus to the development of this technique. Once you have collected the required volume of blood, a primed extension tubing with flush can be attached to the back of the angiocatheter. The same vessel can now be utilized for intravenous fluid administration, antimicrobial administration, or the infusion of blood products. The supplies required for this venous puncture technique include alcohol swabs for cleansing and chlorhexidine for sterilization of the skin, a 24 gauge angiocatheter to access the vessel, a 3 ml syringe with a blunt tip for aspiration of the free flowing blood, the appropriate microtainers for storage of the specimen, an additional 3 ml syringe and a tourniquet if so desired, a pacifier and sucrose for pain control during the procedure, and a 3 ml syringe of normal saline with primed extension tubing if intravenous access is required. Now that the appropriate supplies have been gathered, a timeout is required prior to performing the blood draw. Two of the approved JACO identifiers must be referenced for patient identification. Hand hygiene and the application of personal protective equipment is essential. The infant is swaddled and the extremity in which the procedure will be performed is exposed. A pacifier and sucrose are utilized as pain control measures. A vein has been identified within the dorsal plexus of the right hand. The area is cleansed with an alcohol swab and then sterilized with chlorohexidine. The chlorohexidine is then given time to dry. The vein is accessed utilizing aseptic technique. Therefore, a specimen can be obtained for culture if required. Once the area is sterilized, a 24 gauge angiocatheter is introduced into the vessel. The stylet is removed and blood is allowed to flow freely. A 3 ml syringe with a blunt tip is then utilized to aspirate the free flowing specimen. One point five milliliters of blood is required for this particular blood drawing opportunity. When the desired volume of blood is collected, 
the catheter can be removed and pressure applied to tamponade the site. If intravenous access is required for the administration of intravenous fluid, medications, or the infusion of blood products, a 3 ml syringe with primed extension tubing and a clave can be connected to the back of the angiocatheter. The site is then dressed and secured in the standard fashion. This concludes our demonstration of a recommended venous puncture technique.